let's see. Is it still rolling? Can you check that one too? Kind of should have saved these and not even let you know what these are, but I, I, I like throwing these in. So, okay. Facebook or Twitter, choose one. Facebook. Why is that? I would have to say I like both for different reasons. So can I throw that in? Yes. I like Facebook because I think you get a bigger audience, especially for marketing, because I think business and marketing, I think you get a much bigger audience, especially mothers, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially in my world. Twitter, I think, is more local. And I think you got about 50% of the population maybe on Facebook and about 15 on Twitter. All right, Coke or Pepsi? Diet Coke. Okay. Summer or winter? Summer. Because of the light? The light that it's out till 8 is very helpful. I like the, the 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock time frame. <laughs> and, and aside from photography, summer or winter? Summer. So when you were starting out or anything like that, what was the best bit of advice that you ever received? It says, you never chase a dog into a dead end alley. All right. It so. was sound advice, which is kind of the same. Be your own person. And you know what's crazy? They misspelled Alley. <laughs> <laughs> that's the classic Chinese. And they cookie. misspelled Alley, but that's okay. <laughs> I won't follow it into a person either, right? <laughs> so what does that mean to you then? I think it's saying, again, be your own person. Don't follow someone because it might not be the right path. Find your own way. That kind of comes around yeah. to finding your your voice in photography. Then, wouldn't you agree? Right. Do you feel like you have found yours? I think it evolves. I think it changes with the time. I'll see something and I, from some other person. You know, it, it's a matter, you know, it's finding my way. I think it'll change. I think it'll change throughout my life. I change as a person throughout my life, so right. why wouldn't my photography change throughout my life? It's, it's pretty interesting that they, they say finding your voice because much like your own voice, it changes, it matures, you know. Right. It, yeah. My voice would have been very different if I had been a photographer at 18, I'm sure. So. Right. <laughs> you look a lot of 18 year old photography and it is very different. Yes, it is very different. <laughs> And Bremont, when you're not shooting, taking pictures, what what do you enjoy doing? What do you find yourself doing? I do work full time, so in between that and photography, I uh, mostly I play with my kids and try to sneak in a little exercise. And we're building a house right now. So I use creativity and try to plan this house and picking out things. So that's been fun. We do that a lot. This is our third. Building a house or yes, kids? Yes, building a house. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two kids. So you enjoy that, like that blank canvas. Yeah. So you climb into an elevator mm -hmm. with a mother of twins. Okay. And it's you and about two other newborn photographers. You all smell the blood in the water like, oh, you know. Okay. This is going to be a great client. How, how do you pitch it to what your differentiating factor is in your photography or in your approach or... Because, <laughs> I mean, you've got... You know, I've got two. I've got two other got photographers two in there, yeah. wanting wanting to get their hands on those twin babies. I would say, you know, I, I'm very patient. I love the newborn. It's just my favorite to, to curl them and just get them into the little, to get them into the poses. And I, you know, I don't rush the session. I take my time. Baby needs to feed. Baby. Feed. And also, I, you know, I come to the session with, with what needs to be done in mind, and I, we can talk through that. Before, you know. Yes. It gets done. Every good photographer worth their salt has, always has their portfolio with them somehow. How do you how do you pack your? I have mine on my phone. I do, and I also carry business cards, of course, but keep it on my phone and my iPad. But I don't always have my iPad. Yeah. And I, I've also found myself just going to a computer and pulling up my website. First of all, are you comfortable with where your website slash portfolio site is at right now? Yes. Okay. Just updated it last week, actually. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Do you, do you do the whole thing of playing music as soon as it opens? No. Okay. And, do you, and do you have and a specific I don't reason to. for yes. it? Yes, I, I hit mute every time I hit And I think if anybody looking in an office or looking in, I just don't prefer it, just me. Is yours flash based? Yes. It is? It is. And is that a purposeful choice? That's where I started out. When I go to Renew this year, because I, I pay for a template, I may pay for the upgrade to make it iPad compatible because I'm an iPad user and you can't use a flash base. But now my, my blog is flash compatible, not, not flash compatible, but it, it is iPad compatible. So gotcha. if you can't get to my site, you cannot get to my blog. Here's a question I have, and, and it's strictly from, and, and these are some of the extras that, that you weren't expecting. Okay, that's it, fine. It, this is strictly from, like, ignorance on my part. Where do you see newborn photography, like, two or three years from now? How do, you, do you see it evolving in any 
I see it growing because I think there's more and more demand for it. Like, I can't tell you how many mothers tell me, I wish I'd done this, for, I've been able to do this for my firstborn, or, you know, going back. I didn't do it for my firstborn, so I, I have, like, the only newborn pictures I have are of my second child. Um, right. I definitely think it's growing, but I don't see it going away. It's probably my biggest grossing area. This is what I wanted to sit down with somebody that does newborn photography and ask. Mm -hmm. From outside looking in, it seems like the way to stay differentiating in terms of the images is to find the next trend in something, some kind of object to stuff a newborn in. Right. <laughs> or a new pose. Okay. Or a new hat. Okay. So I'm, I'm totally not off base on this one. No. Is that part of the business of, you know, like an expense, an ongoing expense or yes, something? Yes, it is. It's, you know, definitely an investment. I just had two last weekend and I, I think I bought some pieces of fabric and then wrap, matching wraps to kind of get a, because I was going back for the bold color, to get a bold color thing going on. And I did a black dots with the pink wrap, you know, just to kind of get a mod look, just to do something different. I was feeling, you know, I've been using these props for a year. I need something different on my site. Clients probably would like something different. So yes, it is shopping and looking at things. Is most of that physical in a store or do you find yourself, I mean, like, do you subscribe to, to like blogs or sites where you shop for different stuff and it kind of hits your fancy? Etsy. So I do a lot on Etsy, okay. uh, especially with the hats. With the finding the things to put them in, antique stores are better for that. Or somebody, my, actually my mother gave me some of the props I have that used to be my grandmother's. You can get things that are newer too. It just depends on finding pretty blankets. And <laughs> but I enjoy the kids and the gold colors and, you know, the kid that won't even look at me for the first five minutes and all of a sudden loves me with intent, right. you know. <laughs> that, right. I like that kind of thing too. So that's I usually, lately I've been doing that as more of a mini session day where, where I just do back-to-back, 30-minute -back, sessions back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back where people want Christmas card pictures or uh, just make a day of a mini session. Well, By the way, one thing I didn't, I didn't point out, a typical newborn session takes about three hours. Wow. Another okay. thing that I'll say, I just announced a workshop. I saw that. Yeah. I want to find out more about that. Hey, feel free. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just announced a workshop called um, Capturing Life, and it's going to be for mothers and fathers that are new to DSLR photography and want to get better pictures. It'll be basic and how to use your camera and a little bit of post-processing, and we're going to actually go out in the field and shoot. It'll be a great day. How can they sign up? The information is on my site, on, on my blog, angiebrevetphotography.com slash blog. There's also information on Facebook as well. When's the first class going to be held? June 25th will be the first one. June 25th. June 25th. If anybody's got any questions, they can go to angiebrevetphotography.com. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So, Angie, I wanted to thank you for your time. Thank you. Again, this is Angie Bremen of Angie Bremen Photography, very well-established professional newborn photographer. Her website is angiebremontphotography.com. You'll probably see it right here. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time. Thank you.